I'm uh, by uh, profession a literary um, scientist or something like this. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and I thought about how to integrate these two uh, powers on a base of language, their language. Nice. And it also looked like uh, that it's very difficult. <laughs> Very, very uh, different language. Very, very different perspective. Yeah, um, I mean, we we do try to use language. Um, we we try to redefine mental illness more as um, uh, trauma, for instance, a reaction to trauma, uh, so that there is an understanding that we're all healthy human beings. Um, and that we're having uh, reactions to unhealthy situations. Um, and that, to me, is a lot more hopeful than uh, the description of the existing system, which is individuals have these defects, uh, you know, that are, you know, pathological conditions. And I, I mean, after all, I don't want to, I don't want to idolize uh, those of us that have been labeled, but my wife, who's outside the field and never was labeled, and she's met a whole lot of um, peers and advocates all over the world. Uh, um, and she said, you know, you all are the most intelligent group of people I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, you probably think too much. <laughs> but um, the integration, the integration, I think, has to, um, has to be based on humility on the basis of the existing structure. They have to accept our wisdom for certain dimensions of these problems that they, they can't understand because they haven't lived them. Um, I think for the time being, a kind of a truce or compromise should be struck, uh, saying, you know, mutual respect uh, enough to say, uh, we from the recovery movement respect that, you know, diagnosis is still, you know, necessary because we don't have yet a good alternative and at times medication just not for lifetime and not defining the person by their medication and by their diagnosis. Um, but uh, laying the groundwork for a future where maybe diagnosis won't be used. <laughs>